Now let me get this straight. Dropped out of college to start a tax business. A tax business? Well, yeah. Everyone needs an accountant. But you studied physical education. It's basically the same thing, you know? I don't think so. In fact, I don't think anyone's ever compared the two professions in the history of the English language. Well, they are the same thing. Uh, I don't think so, but moving on. Well, they kind moving of are. Moving on. You then quit the tax business. And you bought a DVD kiosk? Oh yeah, about that. Someone stole it. It's crazy. Stole it? Mm-hmm. Stole what exactly? The DVD kiosk. <laughs> no, how does one steal a DVD kiosk? That's a great question. I ask the detectives every day the same thing. I don't think they're taking my case seriously. Well, it's on the news if you don't believe me. Really? Mm-hmm. What channel? Uh, what news channel do you watch? Uh, channel 7, mostly. Ah, uh, it was on Channel 4. I'm surprised Channel 7 didn't carry it, though. It was a huge story. Channel 4? Mm-hmm. Right. What, um, what you doing? Well, uh, what are you doing over there? I'm huh? What is this? What is this? Uh, Dr. Pritchard, you're needed as a father, please. Oh, uh, no, hey, what is this? You have really bad taste in ties. I could choke you at no, any time. This is just, nice. Oh, this is cool. My, you ever tried piercing your ear? Leave my death alone. Rah, 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 no. Son, I am so proud of you. Seriously? You are the first one in our family to become a doctor. You've always been a good kid. You know that, right? Yeah, I, I know that, Dad, but I need my own space. I need to be out there in the world. You and Mom have been there for me my entire life. I just need to know if I can do this on my own. But, son, we're family. Family sticks together. That's what we do. Ain't nothing wrong with you staying at home until you get your act together. But, Dad, there is. I really need to buckle down and study and just get my life together. I'll be starting residency soon, and Duo, I mean, uh, Dave, he's always on the road with his job. I basically have the whole apartment to myself. Well, I'm just gonna miss you, son. Dad, what the hell was that? Watch the road. Watch the language, you twerp. I mean, son. You know, you're not gonna find what you're looking for on the internet. I gave Channel 4 exclusive TV rights, so. No, this is the internet. I can find anything. I don't know, you're pretty old. I was kind of hoping <laughs> Hey, is that your book? Yes, oh it's my book. Goodness, look at this thing. Hey, have, what are you Have doing? you ever read this? You would really enjoy it, I think. Man, I am thirsty. What, what are oh. you? Hey, no, oh, no oh my God. Oh, Give my me goodness, that. my bad. I didn't. No. You are an incompetent, self serving, selfish ass. That's it. I want you out. You know what? You're right. I've, I've made a mess here. I'll just get out of your office and leave you alone for the oh, day. Oh, no, okay? no, no, no. You don't understand. I don't want you out of my office. I want you out of the house by this afternoon. By dad. Uh, no buts. Maybe when you learn to be a responsible adult, we can have a normal conversation. Until then, you're out. But dad. Out. I mean it. Can I? I've got to put up some flyers for a yard sale. Could I just get this stapler? No, just give me that. Just stop okay, it. Okay, okay. I love you, dad. It'll be fine. Nothing to worry about, okay? Yeah, okay, okay. All right. And I gotta go. I gotta go. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. All right. And that's enough for that. Oof. No, 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 that. Okay, okay, take take one. Take one. Wow. Okay. All right, all right. Tell mom I love her. You know what? That's life. Haters gonna hate. Father's gonna fall. But you gotta remember. Remember, remember, remember. People only rain on your parade because they're jealous of your sunshine and tired of their own shit. Shakespeare said that. And who can argue with a genius like Shakespeare? Actually, Kim Kardashian said that. Oh, really? Yes, really. We'll edit that in post. New beginnings?
Here I come. New me? Here I come. talking like that it's british mike it's for my new gig but what about you how come you were in the motor for so long were you shagging no no that was my dad i mean you know who hasn't been there am i right i mean <laughs> if i told you that bria lived down that hallway would you go talk to her bria james lives down that hallway sir let me tell you something down that hallway lived the girl that everybody at East Side High dreamed about. The girl who gets more Instagram likes just for putting up food than the Pope for healing sick people. Sir, down that hall lived Bria Jane. The Bria Jane. And I'm talking about hot like yoga pants, hot like hot, hot, hot. That's what I'm talking about, boy. <laughs> Wait, if she's so perfect, why haven't you gone for her? Who says I ever? <laughs> You should have saw the look on your face, lad. <laughs> I'm about to get up out of here, all right? I'm going to leave now. Wait, where are you going? I'm headed to London. Right now? You're going to London right now? Yes, right now. I'm headed out the door. I was just waiting for you. I told you I was going on tour with the Arctic Flames. Wait, Arctic Flames? I never heard of them. They're more like a take hip hop indie type of rock group. You never heard of them now, but you're going to find out about them later. I'm going to see you in a few months, okay? Okay, wait, that's really weird, but I just got here. This is crazy. My God. I'm not your father. I can't hold your Peter Winker every time you need to go take a piss now, can I? And also, if I was your father holding your Peter Winker, wouldn't it be kind of odd? Yeah. Okay, you take care of yourself. I'll be going. All right, have fun. Oh, 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 and Micah? Yeah. Micah, can you get that guitar right there and put it back on the rack for me? It, it, it means a lot. This thing over here? Yes, 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 that. That guitar right there means everything to me. It was actually a gift that was given to my grandfather, signed by the great Jimi Hendrix. Wait, did you say Jimi Hendrix? Jimi Hendrix. You know, he threw up on my grandfather after a concert, and to make it up to him, he just ended up giving it to him and signing it. Wait, this has got to be worth at least 100000 easy. Try 450000 and I'm going to see you later, okay? Make sure you holler at Bria Jane. Wait, you're going to leave this here? I'm leaving it with the most responsible person I know. What's better than that? I'm out. Okay, anything else? Can you keep it down some? I have a, a landlord. He's kind of like a quirky guy. All right. All right. Study hard now. And remember, free your days. Say that, man.
Sea bass, buddy. Welcome home. Who the hell are you? And why do you keep staring at my damn feet? I'm not looking at your feet or anything else for that matter. You're staring at me. Am not. R2. Am not. Looks like the McRib is back. Did your parents not circumcise you? Uh, no. Eyes. We look each other's eyes only, okay? Okay, fine by me. Now, again, without squealing, who are you? And hey, eyes up here, buddy. I'm Duo's friend, his new roommate, Micah. Man! Eyes up, man, eyes up! Look, my eyes aren't really trained for this sort of situation. Can you just hand me a towel? Thank you. Aren't you put one on too? Oh no, I just lost 20 pounds. I'm proud of my body. Come on, man. Fine. So, how are you Duo's new roommate when I'm Duo's new roommate? No, no. I've been set to move in for the past three months now. Well, I've been set to move in for the past three hours, but that's neither here nor there. Look, the point is... You're Duo's new roommate. Yes. Let's call Duo and figure this thing out. Fine. 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 Don't you worry about that little guy. We'll blame it on the shower. Man, the water was really cold when I first got in. <laughs> still not answering. Probably died of a heroin overdose. That or he's still on the plane. Look, I'm really tired. It's been a long day, so I'm just gonna get some rest and we'll figure this thing out in the morning. Hey, sounds good. Listen, I'm having a friend over, you know, to uh, stay the night. Wait, you got a girl? There she is now. Listen, um, I need to go put on something classy. You don't mind getting the door, do you? Wait, first of all, I don't know if you're a criminal or not, and you want me to let somebody else in? Absolutely. You're a good friend. <laughs> Wait, that's my room! <sighs> Who is this at the- oh, excuse me, can, can I help you, ma'am? I'm sorry. I must have the wrong apartment. Patty May, girl, get in here! Get yourself in here! <gasps> Waiting on you, baby! I can't wait to get you in there. No, 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 no. That's my room. Oh, buddy, I already released my pheromones in that room. I need that room. It's got a soft bed and she needs support for her bad hip. You understand. Just do me this one last favor. Fine. But for the record, that's my room. Mm. Mm. Look at the sweet ass on that one, boy! I'm gonna tear that up. And I couldn't have done it without you, brother. I owe you one. What is this? Fifty Shades of Granny? King of the hallway.
give me one good reason why I shouldn't call the cops. I'm waiting. Hello. It, it's Micah. Um, I'm Duo's friend, his new roommate. Duo's friend. I'm Mr. Fester, property manager. Yeah. Yeah. Duo told me that you'd be hanging around for a few months. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Have you thought about taking some calcium pills? Look, I heard they work wonders. Excuse me? That must be hard to hear because I didn't hear what you said. It sounded to me like you said something smart alecky. You a smart ass? Boy! Sir, you're touching me. Yeah. I don't like your mouth. Huh? I'm just trying to get back to my room. Yeah. I hear you up here all the time, making all that noise, humping around like Bobby Brown. Poison! Who is Bobby Brown? Too hot to handle, too cold to hold? Never mind. Keep it down up here. If you don't want Duo to have to be kicked out of here, I suggest you keep it down. Uh. Dad, everything's fine. Uh, no, it's fine. I don't. I don't talk to mom right now. Da yeah. Hey, Dad. I really gotta study. Uh, can I call you back? Yeah. 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 Mom, yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Hey. Hi. Right. Where'd you get that toothbrush? Oh. Uh, out of my bag. You didn't get that out of your bag. That's my toothbrush, Noel. Dude, this is my toothbrush. You're being crazy. It's just a toothbrush, man. It has my name on it. Oh, it's your name. I thought it was the name of a toothbrush. But who writes their name on a toothbrush? You know what? Keep it. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, you need to relax. What's your problem, man? Your problem? My problem is, you're using my toothbrush after you did God knows what with a senior citizen last night. Yeah. I don't even want to know what's in your mouth. Is that my shirt? No, to even bathe? Again. Yeah. You know what? I'll be right back. Hey, I took a shower. You're starting to piss me off. Do you know what this is? Uh, soap? Yeah. It's dry soap. Uh. Patty made dry, which means it hasn't been used, mm. no. I use body wash, so... There's no body wash in there. Man, you need to watch your tone, okay? I don't really like the way you're talking to me right now. Oh. You smell like fossil sex. Oh. Like if Fred Flintstone boned Wilma in a hot desert, <laughs> that's what you smell like right now. Mm. It's not a good look, man. Oh, I know you didn't just grab me. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, maybe I pushed you. Maybe I pushed you too. I got, I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. You're leaving? Yes. We're friends, man. We've seen each other naked. That's fraternity. You can't get out of it. Ah. You smacked the devil's anus. Ah. Oh, God. Ah. 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 No. Oh, why do you smell so bad? Oh, say something else. Oh, oh you smell like sour milk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Uh, Bria, what are you doing here? Um, well, I was looking for Duo and the door was open. I just knocked and I thought, I'm sorry, do I know you? It's me, Micah. Micah... Duo's best friend? We've been in every grade since elementary school. We even went to the same junior high and no, I, was... I don't remember. Lunchroom incident. What was that? What did you say? He said something about a lunchroom incident? Oh, yeah, Micah. Micah yeah. from uh, fourth period lunch, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, whoa, how have you been? How have you been? 
Good. Yeah? Uh, did you need help with something? Yeah, well, Duo was supposed to help me move my couch to make room for my painting, so. If you need a nude model, I've got like a sport pack. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Just ignore him. Uh, he's about to take a shower. Uh, I can help you. Really? Yeah. No, for real. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So, um, I live in 2B down the hall, so yeah. Thank right. you so much. <laughs> it's a date. I mean, not like a, a date, like- a, No, a, a, yeah, a, none of that. Like, I'll, I'll see you later, like- Okay, yeah. thanks. Trying too hard, buddy. Bring it down a notch. I think she likes me. <gasps> hmm, I had to get ready. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Did you edge your eyebrows? No, if you don't mind, I'm in here. Oh, that's okay. My stomach's really bubbling, bro. Come on. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> okay. You know, you're just helping her move a stupid cow. She's not gonna notice your eyebrows. Can we stop talking about my eyebrows? Are you recording this? Oh yeah. Stop. You know I can do this forever. I'll stop if you tell me why you like Bria so much. Fine. You really want to know? Mm-hmm. You know that feeling you get when you see something remarkable for the first time ever? That's how it was with her in high school. Every time I saw her, I get that feeling. And when she walked through that doorway, those feelings were still there. Wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> I didn't know you go all Barbara Walters on me, but you know, if you really want Bria, you just gotta go for it, man. Find the right night, clear sky, stars shining, notice that twinkle in her eye. Pow, just go for it, just kiss her, man. Out of nowhere, girls love that stuff. Trust me, that's what I do. The fact you said that women love that stuff makes me nervous. Okay, fine. Dude, put that... You know what? Keep it. Oh no, it's the cheap stuff. I don't, I don't. Then don't keep it. Look, I don't really care. I'm gonna be out of here tomorrow, so you can do whatever you want to do. Oh, you're not really leaving. Can I be honest with you? I expect nothing less. I really don't like you. What? Tom, we're peas in a pod, you and me. Come on, man. That's the most inaccurate statement you could make. You're toxic. Toxic? Oh, no, that's just the gas side really bubbling, bro. <laughs> Woo, dookie time. Make sure you flush this time. Oh, there it is. What are you doing? Uh, oh. You know I can see you through the people, right? Well, I wasn't sure if you said 2P or not 2P. Yeah, it's, uh, it's 2P, so. Mm -hmm. Come in. Okay. <laughs> Did you paint these? Oh, yeah, it's nothing really. God, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm just happy to help. So this is the couch right here, and we're just gonna bring it into the hallway, and I'm gonna have some guys pick it up later. Okay. Ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Let's... on the count of three. Okay. One, two, three. <sighs> you good? Yeah, I, I, I lost my grip. Okay. Let's go, let's go again. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> wow. 
Maybe, maybe on my side is lighter or something. Uh, maybe if we move the cushions, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's, maybe that's, that's, that's what's stopping us. <laughs> okay, let's go again. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> okay, all right. Wow. Oh. Is this like a sofa bed or something? Uh, no. No, just uh, it's a regular couch. But you know what? I'm gonna get Noel and I'll be right back. Hello? This is he. Wait, 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 what's this all about? How did you get this number? Oh, okay, sure, when? All right, I'll, I'll see you then. Okay, all right, bye. -bye. Blood sugar just gets low on uh weekdays. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, weekdays. How long have I been out? Um, about twenty minutes. Oh. Well, thank you. Uh, I I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna keep going now. I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> okay. Well, um, it was nice seeing you. Oh, yeah, it was, it was nice seeing you too, Bria. Oh, and hey, sorry about uh, not remembering you. I feel kind of bad. Oh, I feel bad. It's, 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 you know, it happens to everyone. I mean, the first one, I was like trying to remember you too. I was like, you just got one of those faces. You know, I was like, oh, is that her? Is that who it is? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, you, must, you must get the whole time, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. She called me cute. What does that mean? Don't react. Just play it cool. Um, well, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go to the gym, you know, get my workout on. Okay. Okay, bye. Remember, people only rain on Dr. Richard, Micah is here to see you. Good, send him in. You can argue with a genius like Shakespeare. Ah, Mr. Connors, good, please come in. Yes. Ah, yes, thank you for coming. Please have a seat. Now, um... I suppose you're wondering why you're here. Uh, a little. Well, then I'll get right to the point. I know we've never met, but um, we have a mutual problem that I think we can help each other with. My son, Noel. You're his new roommate, correct? Uh, well, sir, that's not necessarily true. I don't know what he told you, sir, but we're not technically roommates. Yes, well, if I know my son, you don't have to explain. He, um, he probably thinks that you're best friends. Hmm? I don't think we quite qualify as friends, period. <sighs> to be honest, sir, moving out. I don't think we quite gel. Yes, well, um, that's why you're here. Wait, what? Mr. Connors, I'm sorry to put you in the middle of all of this, but, um, my son is sick and I'm concerned about his mental health. I just received word that he hasn't picked up his medication from the pharmacy and he has a history of going off his meds. He's, um, well, I fear for his safety. So do, do you want me to like give him a message or something? I'm not sure what you want from me. He wouldn't listen to you if you did. Then what? Just keep an eye on him 
any erratic behavior. Let me know. Anything abnormal, if you notice anything strange. Whoa, sir, I don't think I'm the person you should be talking to about this. First of all, I, I barely know him, and I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. You're in medical school, aren't you? Yes, sir. Yes, well, um, <clears throat> I do clinical work at Harper Hospital, and I know everyone in the residency program. I could put in a word for you. At Harper? Wouldn't you like to do your residency at Harper? Who wouldn't? That's the only place I want to do my residency. Good! I knew you were the type of young man who cared about his future, the kind that sees an opportunity and grabs it. You know, this isn't the first time my son has stayed at his friend Duo's. It's not? My son has a flair for the dramatic. Think of this as an intervention. If I confront him, he'll either lie or leave. But with you, at least I know where he is. And if you do this for me, a few weeks, tops, then I'll be able to get him out of your hair forever and get him the help he needs. It's a win-win for everyone involved. Sir, I still don't fully understand. Just understand this, that I only want what's best for my son. And what's best for him right now is that he's in one place. No. What are you and Seabass doing in my bed? Well, I thought you were moving out, so... Well, I'm not, so can you get out of my bed? I knew you would come back. It's the fraternity, see? I told you. We're bonded. Look, the only reason I'm staying is because... It's close to campus. And I promised Duo. Look, this has nothing to do with you. In fact, I despise you. But you're staying! Works for me! Well, what are you doing? <laughs> This, yeah. See, I'm a businessman. Businessman? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. See, I'm what the French call an entrepreneur. I own five businesses and I invent things from time to time. There has to be a law against this. You can't do this. Oh, there has to be a law against this. Listen, buddy. Relax. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must attend to my customers. Meat man, looking good. Woo. Oh, Toby Wobbs, how we doing, doggy? Thank you very much. Hey, well, this is high quality service, okay? I, I can't wait to tell all my friends about this place. No, 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 no. no sir, you can't tell anybody about this place. Come here, listen. I'm gonna tell all my friends about this place, but you're gonna tell all your friends too. Sir, your tattoos are shaking. You see that? Listen, tell them. Tell who what? Tell them they're gonna enjoy themselves. What is that? It's for my live streaming site. Oh, hold on a second. You know what? Come here. Just... Okay, Stay. okay. Don't move. Okay, okay. Uh, what the hell is this? You have to sign that to be on the show? Yeah. Me, Penn. Wait, a show? I don't want to be on a show. I mean, just sign the goddamn papers, man. Okay, okay. And sign. They signed the second page as well. It's uh, last night with a shower incident. Wait, she recorded this? Where'd you even put the camera? Oh, you do not want to know, man. <laughs> Hey, listen now, remember, remember, hey, it's all your friends about the fine establishment. Come on, give it to them. Uh, how do you want me to do that? To the camera? This is a fine establishment. Works for me. You good? Yeah. Okay. Get your hand out of my pocket. She touched me. You touched me. Back up. I know whip a bitch fool. I'm just trying to give you a happy ending. Oh, you didn't touch me with your hands. 
It was something else. It was something else. A brush? Does it look like I have a penis? That's it. I quit. I'm out. Well, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Uh, hook it up. You can still hook it up. How many times can I make that mistake? I'm just myself. Now, Tubbs. Great. There goes my five-star review. Hey, you wouldn't mind helping me to hammer out a strategy to keep my customers happy? No. No, this is completely insane. So that's a yes? No. I'm going to go to the library and I want this place back the way that I had it when I left. What is that, boy? Yes, I will help you right away. I'm going to help you guys figure this thing out. I'm just going to go to the library and do some research. I'll be right back. No, that's a weird thing. I blame the parents. I don't think it's potassium. You know, they say his mom and father are the same person. I'm going to the oh, store. Hey, oh, hey, and since you're going to the store, could you give me some like industrial and trim up cheap and real bad, bro? I can show you. This product is just like a Paper? No. What about a stapler? No. Trapper keeper? No. Do you mind? Not at all. Thanks for the invite, buddy. Listen, I'm having a creative block, and I'm looking for some motivation. Well, it's not here. Ah, come on, help me out, man. Check it out. I have this huge plan to be the first late-night social media talk show host. It's gonna be huge. Think uh, Jimmy Fallon meets Vine. That's stupid, and it's been done before. Doesn't matter how many times it's been done. It's about how it's done. Check it out. I've written a sketch just for us for the first show. Us? Look, there is no us. Look, I don't want to be a part of your show or anything else for that matter. Yeah, that's the passion I'm talking about. It's going to be great. And with your help, buddy. Forget it. It's stupid. God, I got to take this. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Um, what are you doing up here? Just need some alone time. Yeah, it's been a lot of distractions lately. Mm, I see. Um, thank you for helping me out again earlier. That was really sweet. How can I say no to be Bria James, right? Oh my God. Come on. You were the most beautiful, most popular girl in high school. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of things changed since high school, so. <laughs> From where I'm standing, they haven't. Go for it. Come on, do it. Oh my god, um. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was me. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed, I can't believe that I kissed an engaged guy. Wait, engaged? Yes, yes, yes. No told me about your engagement and how you're getting married. Wait, but... me getting married? Yes, with some supermodel chick that's from Italy, right? And how you went to Fashion Week and you gave her CPR or something. That's how you guys met, right? Wait, no told me all Yes, this? yes, no told me that. Oh my God, I'm a homewrecker. 
You guys haven't even bought your first house together. I'm, I'm such a bad person, oh my God. Wow, it's fine, it's fine. Let's just pretend that this never happened, okay? We're good, I'm good, you're good. It's fine, right? Priya. We're fine, it's okay. <laughs> please, please, come on, let's just chop it up to nostalgia. Yeah. Okay, please, don't make me bring up that erection. You wouldn't. Yes, I would. Cause that kiss, that kiss was my erection. It was. Come on, let's just, please, let's just go back to being friends. So high five it, friend. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go, cause um, I need to be anywhere but here, so. Okay. Okay. No! No! What were you thinking? Before you go into one of your big temper tantrums, I can explain. I really didn't think it was a big deal at the time. Big deal? Mm-hmm. You didn't think it was a big deal? Mm -hmm. What's a big deal to you? Not a lot, but you know, I'm sorry. I just blurted the first thing that came to my mind, honestly. I'll pay for the ticket, didn't mean to use your name. Wait, ticket? No, you told Bria I was engaged. Oh yeah, ooh. Checkmate, by the way. Listen, don't tell me you're worried about Bria, all right? It's all part of my master plan. Your master plan? Mm hmm You two, a couple, it's written in the stars, buddy. And I can make it happen for you. By telling her I'm getting married? It's what I do. It's a proven fact that decent women love married guys. That can't be a fact. Mm-hmm. Come here. You do want to sleep with Bria, right? Look, I mean... You're a virgin. You really like this girl. God, I'm not a virgin. So what if I'm a virgin? So what if I like her? So what if you like her? Man, you told her you were engaged. Bad move, man. Bad move. You know what? when I was engaged, you gave me this super hot model girlfriend. Listen, we are beyond placing blame. You need to quit living in the past, my friend. Can I give you some advice my father used to tell me? No. You sure? It's really solid. Can you leave me alone? Okay. But trust me, she likes you, man. She really likes you. How do you know that? Does anyone really know anything? Do they? Think about that. What? What does that even... <sighs> How do you deal with him, Seabass? How do you deal with him? Bria! <laughs> Fester! Mr. Ref, my man! Get over here! <laughs> <laughs> How are the kids? Well, the daughter's finishing up her third year at Princeton, and my little man just finished the NASA program. He finally did it. Yeah. What, what about Junior? He's got to be in the, what, 10th grade by now, right? Yes, but he's having a whale of a time with calculus. Well, they can't all be astronauts, am I right? Oh, he better, you know? <laughs> ah, and the wife? She's enjoying the new, uh... Well, uh, I know I am. <laughs> I bet you are, you dirty dog! <laughs> hey, that reminds me. I just found a new hole. You wanna come check it out? I'll fill it. Yeah. I'm watching you. <sighs> what the hell? You're not Jehovah's Witness or Mormon, are you? No. You selling magazines? No. Insurance? No. Girl Scout cookies? No. I'm Micah's dad. 
Why didn't you say so? Come on in here. Look at you. Is Micah here? He's at school, I think. Well, tell him his dad stopped by. It's me and his mom's anniversary, and I just wanted to say hi. Anniversary? Well, how long have you been married? 31 wonderful years. 31 years. No way. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Can I ask you a question, man to man? I mean, since you're the one with the relationship experience and all. Of course. Being married to the same woman for three decades, you have got to be tired of hitting that, right? Excuse me? Well, no offense, sir, but I'm sure you've tried every position in the book. Come here. I mean, I do not need to tell you about the Houdini, the Chumbawamba, the 96. Oh, my personal favorite, the Henry Winkler. Son, a 31-year relationship is not built on sex. It's built on love, commitment, and sacrifice. Yeah, I get all that stuff. I'm just talking about the sex part. My question to you, is there ever a time when you get tired of all those mind-blowing sex positions? I'm talking about the flying camel, the Lenny Kravitz, the grave robber, let's see, oh, the Teletubby, the Miranda Wright, the Miranda Wrong, oh, check this out, the Sticky Ricardo, the flying camel, the Steve Harvey, the Steve Hawking, the Dirty Sokol, that's a good one as well, the Redenbacher, uh, the Knee Knocker, the- What was that last one you just said? I'm just curious, man. How do you do it? Son, me and my wife have never even heard of some of those things. Really? You see, me and my friend over there, we just had the best sex of our lives. You and her? Mm hmm Jungle Feeble over there. Oh, yeah. Orgasms for over an hour. I'm still having one now, actually. Now that's nasty. Mm hmm. Called tantric sex. What's up? Hey. You just getting in? No, girl, you got an inch. It's a real screen. Oh, no, that's not mine. A friend of mine needed to use the old room for some experimentation. Guy's a real stick in the mud. Needed to let one loose, if you know what I mean. She got someone that works. Oh, yeah, they've been in there for hours. <laughs> hey, you know, we about to get up out of here. I'd like to thank you for the best time of our lives. Oh, ain't no problem, Daddy O. Now, you two wild and crazy kids, get out of here. Mom! Dad. Oh, hey, son. We hate to come and go. <laughs> Gonna kill you? Yeah! yeah.
Bria. Hey. Hey. Can we talk about what happened the other day? Um. I sure. Feel yeah. like you've been avoiding me. No, 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 no. I've just been, I've just been busy. I'm not avoiding you. Well, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. I'm good. I swear. Let me no. just. Oh. No, no, it's fine. I... Oh, what's this? Um, it's nothing. It's like a stupid little, like a little party. This is a flyer for our ten-year class reunion. It's this Saturday. Contact Bria James for more information. Yeah. Why wasn't I invited? Well, I didn't think you would want to come to this kind of thing, right? I mean, I didn't even... Remember me? No, 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 no. I was going to say that I didn't know how to contact you. You couldn't find me on Facebook or, or call Duo? Like, it's, it's not like that at all. Look, I, I want you to come. I do. You kissed me. I got to go. Micah, it was an honest mistake, I swear. It is what it is, right? No. Look, maybe I'll call. Micah, Micah, stop, I want you to come. I'm sorry. But you're not on the list. I'm gonna need about $50. $50? 50 bucks, run me the shambles. What other year? I don't care if you live here, man. This is a fine establishment, okay? Let me take this up with management. One second. Oh, uh, management. Excuse me, man. Hey! We're trying to party over here. What's going on? Yeah. What's going on? Who are these people? They're just some friends, man. Where's your invite? Invite? Yeah, I sent it to your phone. All access, no extra cost. No, I don't have time for this. Listen, I would love to let you in, but Meaty here is a stickler for the rules, and you know me, I am all about the rules, so what are you gonna do? Meet a word? Please, brother, skip over here, please. What was that? Unless he takes those shoes off, mm -hmm. do not let him in, okay? We're trying to keep the riffraff out, and he is not dressed properly. Yeah, I noticed. Got it? Good man. I got you. Now, listen, fellas, Fester's about to start the goat show, and I cannot miss it this time, okay? okay? All right. okay. See you later. Bye! Got your ball. Hey, I got you, man. You got the bag. Up, man. No! Hey, it's over my head, brother. Excuse me. Excuse me one second, please. Oh, yeah, come on. Get out of here, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. Boom. Right there. I might go. Right here. See you at the party, so I figured you'd be up here. So you knew at the party too, huh? Ugh, yeah. Everyone knows when Noel's doing something. <laughs> He's like a, like an ultimate promoter. I never met anybody like him. I can tell you that much. Um, I'm really sorry about the high school reunion thing. You know, it's totally my fault. But I really wanted you to come. It's just, you know, the whole kiss thing got a little sidetracked. And, uh, 
Yeah. It's not like I didn't not invite you. I'm used to it. You don't have to feel sorry for me, okay? Okay. Um, well, if it helps, I think you turned out pretty good. Probably better than anyone else. And I know your girlfriend is like, oh my God. I don't, I don't have a girlfriend. We broke up. It's over. What happened? It wasn't, it wasn't because of me, right? Look, nothing happened, okay? Just forget I brought it up. Just move on. Okay. Well, I'm really sorry. For real. You don't get it. Guys like me don't end up with the supermodel girlfriends. I thought that coming to medical school would change that, but everything's still the same. I didn't get invited to any parties in high school, so what I expect to get invited to my high school reunion? let alone a party in my own apartment. Everything's still the same. You're still the same. Micah, I'm, I'm not the Just same. Just leave me I'm alone. I'm not the same, Micah. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, have you seen my cell phone? I looked everywhere for it. I think I really messed up with Bria last night. I wish I could hit the reset button on the whole thing. Uh, Micah? The guitar's missing. <laughs> the guitar's... Wait, did you say the guitar's missing? <laughs> That's Duo's prized possession, he's gonna kill us. Oh, how is it missing? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh no, Duo knows I'm not responsible. He's gonna blame you. I'm good. Hey! Man, to be so weak, you sure like to fight a lot. This is all your fault. My fault? If you hadn't turned this apartment into a freaking madhouse, this would have never happened. This has your friend's fingerprints written all over it. My friends? No, 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 that's impossible. My friends would never do this. Maybe one of your friends did it. Oh, wait, I'm your only friend, so... We're not friends, and we will never be friends. <sighs> Come on, man. We're roomies. We can figure this out. We're friends, right? No, it's anything but right. Look, I don't understand your thought process. Just grow up. You trying to say I'm not an adult? That's exactly what I'm saying. The massage parlor, the constant using of my things, and turning my parents into porn stars. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I live in the real world, Noel. You're like a child, stuck in perpetual recess. Hoping the teacher doesn't call them back into class. <sighs> you don't know me, man. That's the point. I do understand. You use Duo, now you're using me, and I'm done. I see why your dad threw you out. It's amazing he dealt with you for so long. I never told you my dad threw me out. I never mentioned that once, not to anybody, not ever. Look, that's not important right now. What is important is that we figure out which one of your friends took Duo's guitar. Do you hear that? That's my phone. Where is it? Here. I was putting a picture of us as the background. Dr. Pritchard. My dad? Why is my dad calling you? Look, no, I can explain. I bet, uh, bet he told you to check up on me. Hmm? What did he promise you? Must have been good for you two to exchange numbers, spy on me. Look, man, he's just worried about you. Mm. Yeah. Sit down. Let me tell you all you need to know about my father, Dr. Pritchard. His first book, Children First, the bestseller, he dedicated that book to me. Me, did he tell you that? Mm-mm. It's the first and only time I ever felt he was proud of me. 
was in the first grade. He even came to my class show and tell, and while he was reading from a chapter called The Well-Behaved Child, I decided to streak through the classroom. Mm -hmm. He couldn't have been more embarrassed. By the time of the book's second printing, my name was removed entirely. No. Oh, no. I was right then, and I'm right about my father now. He's just worried about your mental health, man. Is that what you think? <laughs> He's writing another book. He's afraid that I'll be bad press. See, that's what he cares about. I'm not crazy, man. I'm just not who he wants me to be. But living with you? Man, that's worse than living with him, because with him, I know what to expect. He's not trying to pretend to be something else. Tell Duo, I'm sorry about the guitar. I'll find it. Maybe one of my friends did take it. I honestly don't know who to trust anymore. No, no. Where are you going? Anywhere but here. Good luck finding a new roommate. No, I'm sorry. I was surprised you called. I thought after, uh, you know, the incident, we was never gonna hear from you again. Dad, can we please just not talk about that, that ever? Speaking of the incident, where's Noah? How did you do it, Dad? You just said you weren't gonna talk about that. God, no, no, no. Like, how do you like someone like that? He's so aggressive, he has no concept of personal space, or hygiene for that matter. He's- A breath of fresh air. You know what Noah is, son? He's that part of you that's hiding deep down in your soul that you're afraid to let out because you're too scared of what other people think. That's what he is. He helped me bring out my inner freak. Now me and your mother are doing things I would have never dreamed of. Dad, dad. Sorry, sorry. He's a good kid. A little misguided, sure. But he means well. And you two balance each other out. I'm glad you're friends. You're lucky to have each other. No Pritchard show. First and foremost, we must have unicorns. Hang them from the ceilings if we have to. Thank the guests. My sidekick Micah. My buddy, my pal. Big entrance through the bedroom window. How is he going to come through the window? did invite me. We're peas in a pod, you and me. Come on, man. We're friends, man. We've seen each other naked. It's the fraternity, see? I told you. We're bonded. You two, a couple, dritting in the stars, buddy. And I can make it happen for you. Where's your invite? I sent it to your phone, all access, no extra cost. We're friends, right? We're friends, right? I gotta fix this. Bria. Dester? You know, if your son ever needs any help in calculus, I'm willing to tutor him. 
You're a good boy. person you want to see right now, but I need to talk to you and it only takes 60 seconds, okay? Fine. You have 60 seconds. I did not expect you to respond that soon. 50 seconds. Fine, fine. Um, why did you kiss me? What? The kiss. Why did you kiss me? My God, I don't know. Hey, look, it's very important. <sighs> Come in. So you're gonna tell me? Here. Press play. Go on, press it. You know that feeling you get when you see something remarkable for the first time? That's how it was with her in high school. Every time I saw her, I got that feeling. And when she walked through that doorway, those feelings were still there. That's why Noel told me. After he passed out, I went to go find him, and uh, he showed me that video. And I don't know, no one has ever said anything like that to me before. Oh, oh hello. You too. You too. Am I interrupt anything? Uh, duo, wait. Uh, aren't you supposed to be in London? Ah, uh, never mind me, white club John. I got caught sleeping with the band manager's girlfriend who happened to be the wife of some unofficial. But enough about me. What about you too, Ludberg? What are you doing? It's, it's not what it looks like. Oh, it's not? Oh, of course it is. I mean, th that's what you want. Is that what you want? Are you guys having your first lover's quarrel? Wait a minute. What are you doing here? To see Bria. Duh. To see Bria? Oh, right. Crap. I forgot. I'll be right back. Wait. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> Here you go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bria, you're a lifesaver. Oh, welcome. what a lifesaver. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm, I'm confused. Duo, what is Bria doing with your guitar? You made me reconsider everything when you told me that I shouldn't be leaving my guitar in the apartment by itself. So when I went to London, I asked Bria to mail it to me. Why didn't you just get me to mail it to you? Why didn't you call me? I did. Every day. Wait. That was you that called me from the 343-555-1465 number? Yep, that was me. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a bill collector. You know, one time I told her my dad, you know how they change the number up all the time, but I gave her my guitar. I mean, what's the issue? The issue is I basically accused Noel of stealing your billion dollar guitar. Come on, who does something like that? Looks like you do, my friend. <laughs> Looks like you do, that's all. I literally had him in a mental hospital. How did I get this wrong? I mean, let's just go down there and explain what happened. It's not that easy. Noel left. I can't get open on Facebook. He's not turning into my calls. I don't know where he is. But to be honest, I haven't been the best roommate to him. Oh, that's kind of crazy because from the looks of things, it looks like you two are having a blast. See? Look, he has like a million followers. A billion, as a matter of fact. I mean, it looks like people love you two. Oh, wow. He's a genius. He's a genius. He's a genius. What are you talking about? I know how to find Noel, but I need your help. Okay. I didn't know he was lost. Last report. Noel Pritchard is my best friend. He's kind, thoughtful. He's the only one to ever invite me to anything, even when I was being a total ass. The only people who need medication are you and me for what we did. Over a stupid book and a lame recommendation? I'm gonna go find my best friend and hope he forgives me. You should do the same.
hell? everyone and welcome to the Noel Pritchard show. I am obviously not Noel Pritchard. <laughs> He's finally lost it. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Go ahead, give a round of applause to yourselves. Your beautiful, beautiful audience. All right, round of applause to the band, to the band. I'm not quite sure if they have a name yet considering it just formed about eight minutes ago. <laughs> but we have an awesome show tonight in store for everyone. Uh, but first, I have to do a little bit of housekeeping. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to make an apology. I know, I can be a bit of a tightwad. Kind of controlling and not too spontaneous. But a week ago, I went from living in my dad's basement to sharing an awesome apartment. Smoking hot girl there. Oh, that's right. And friends. Thank you all for being my friend, even before I knew I had any. I had to take the time to address one special person, Noel Pritchard. When I first got here, I thought that duo was my only friend. He was halfway across the world. So if you're out there, show really needs you, man. I need you. Am I right? So I want all the fans out there, we're gonna prove it right now. I need you guys to like, share, comment on this, show Noel how much you love him, and get our real host back to this show. Noel, don't throw this all away because of an idiot like me. Fascinating. I had no choice. Had a bone to pick with you. A bone to pick with me? Mm, that's right. Now don't take this the wrong way. Love what you did with the place, but this isn't exactly what I envisioned for my first show. Oh, I'm sorry. I was only trying to help, but what did you envision? Well, now don't get me wrong. It's not bad. A great band, beautiful audience. I just expected more flair, you know? Wait, more flair? Well, I mean, look at you. You get the hot girl. Oh, what else? Hot girl. Wait, you already said hot girl. That was worth mentioning twice. Well, it's the least I could do what I'll put you through. Very nice of you, Micah. Just out of curiosity, what would you have done to make the show bigger? I don't know, maybe, uh, hot girls, fireworks, and unicorns. You shut your mouth. You say unicorns, you do not have to go any further than unicorns. Do you like unicorns? Who doesn't like unicorns? Oh. This is exactly what I envisioned. The show cannot get any better! Another surprise. Dad! Noel. What are you doing here? Seeing the error of my ways, son. I'm not proud of what I've done. And I'm sorry for what I tried to get Micah to do. Seeing how you can connect with an audience like this, it made me realize something. What's that? It's that these are truly remarkable feats, and that you have been thriving, and that I've never been more proud of you than I am in this moment, right now. Dad. Oh. 
Now you go, son, and you conquer the world. wake up. I'm going to be gone for a few weeks, so make sure you walk to the plants this time and not with piss. I'm gone. Hey, I'm going to that medical conference in Atlanta. Please stay out of my room this time. Ah! Alright, fine. I'll see you when I get back. Alert. Oh man, you must be one of duos. Excuse me? Oh, you were here with Tubbs, right? Is he still here? I don't belong to anyone. I'm not a piece of meat that you can poke and prod. Listen, when I called you hot, ah. I was simply referring to your smoking hot body. And that's supposed to be a compliment? Mm -hmm. So I'm supposed to feel all giddy inside because you think I got a nice rack? I think it's great, actually. No offense. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. Is that mine? Oh, uh, you mean this simplistic collection of Neanderthalistic thoughts that may as well be scribbled in crayon? That is the outline for my next show. This is going to be broadcast? <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you and what are you doing in my apartment? Your apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my cousin Micah's apartment. I'm Connie. And he said I could stay here till he gets back. Till he gets back, huh? He won't be back for a week. Well then, I guess we're roomies. <laughs>